according to regulations and the Uniform Code of Military Justice. According to regulations and the Military Code of Justice. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations to our future soldiers, sailors, airmen, and Marines. Let's give an enormous round of applause. So whenever someone ever re-enlists in the Army, it's, they always try to make it a big deal, whether they're like shooting a cannon, a mortar, or throwing a grenade or something like that. So for someone, this is the first ever where we've had someone in space swear in people. And we think it's honestly like, kind of like a, a Guinness Book of Record, because he's going to swear in a thousand plus individuals, and he'll be the furthest one away. He, he's on the International Space Station. So I think it's a once it's the first ever because Space Force and everything like that. So to be a part of this, I think is awesome. It's pretty excited. It's pretty cool. We had the swear in by Spaceman. So it's quite cool to see it through a live stream. That uh, you know, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's just like the one we had at Meps, but just from space through a live stream. It was cool to see all the questions that they asked, and I thought it was a pretty cool experience. Yesterday, several JROTC members participated in a unique event. An astronaut from space wore in future military personnel from all over America. At Truman School in the Penn School District, students were sworn via satellite in the lecture hall. I think they should feel special because they're the first ones ever that will get to do this. I mean, the Space Force won't be the first ones to do this. It's cats in the Army that are the first ones to do it. So they're the first to ever do this. People joined the military for a variety of reasons. One student at Truman told us about his reasons. Not student debt. Um, college opportunities, educational opportunities. Um, I can take classes to jump out of a helicopter. So, who doesn't want to do that? Adam Herrick reporting for Truman, THS Media.